Okay, July 25th, 2014, this female ADO Shizu comes in because the groomer saw a big swelling, a big swelling on the breast, on the breast here, and this swelling has become bigger. The swelling has become bigger. The swelling has become bigger and uh, and she asked me what is this? What is this swelling? The breast memory gland tumor is, is uh, lumpy. So this is the complaint is the memory gland tumor. So I check the dog and see what is the other problem. So I do the examination. So to examine, I check check the breast and then I will do the abdominal palpation. Now I check the breast, see if there's any milk or not. And then discharge, you can see the ground is discharged. Then I check the others. There is milk coming up, you can see milk. And uh, all the others has milk. You can see milk coming out. Milk coming up. So this is happens about four months according to the owner, four months after the estrus. So now I do the abdominal palpation to check whether there's a uterine pyometra, uterine swelling or not for pass. So this is abdominal palpation and there's no pain. No swelling, no swelling. The bladder is full now. After that, I check, check the vagina, the vulva, any discharge or not. There is no discharge, so there is no open parametra, no open parametra, and uh, no swelling. So this dog does not have a closed or open parametra. So after that, now we want to know the differential diagnosis. The differential diagnosis will be four. One is mastitis. The inflammation. Mastitis is inflammation of the breast or the tumor. Now you can feel that there are lumps here and lumps here and lumps here. So this is a breast tumor starting growing. And the third one is Third one is pregnancy. Now whether this dog is pregnant or not, uh, from what I can see, the dog was not mated, so it was not pregnant. Uh, the fourth one is false pregnancy. So the most likely this dog has false pregnancy because uh, of the signs of the heat being uh, two to three months, or in this case four months before the clinical signs of milk, before the clinical signs of milk inside the the because the breast, the milk there, you can see the milk. Even here you can see milk. So this is false pregnancy. Now what is the the test? The lab test, you can do a blood test to check whether there is a leukocytosis or any inflammation or infection of blood. Or we, we can do also the urine analysis and uh, the ultrasound an x-ray of the abdomen. Now, these are the x-ray or ultrasound will show any swollen uterus of close parametra. Other than that, normally they are normal because false pregnancy is uh, not an infectious cause. It's due to the hormonal, hormonal uh, imbalance. And that's how the dog got uh, false pregnancy. Now, the treatment, there are two treatments. One is medical and one is surgery. Now the medical treatment, medical treatment will be done by by uh, using magistral acetate or ovary, which is for for suppressing the milk production. So it's half tablet, one time a day for for, for eight days. In this case, then. Uh, there are other, other drugs like testosterone and uh, it can be used as well. So for this dog I'm using Wolverine 
uh, you also don't have to use anything and, and the, the milk production will also stop in uh, two to three weeks time. Now the surgical treatment, surgery treatment, surgery treatment will be, surgery treatment will be by spaying the dog. Now we can't spay the dog now because firstly the milk is still there. So if you spay the dog now, the milk will still be coming up from the memory glands and the owner may not be happy about it. So to wait till the milk has stopped flowing about three, three weeks later. So in this case, I advise spaying to be done about four weeks from, from today. So in the meantime, it takes medical treatment of the ovary, ovary and that's uh, for eight days to stop the milk production. After that, then uh, because this dog has a breast tumor, so we will remove the breast tumor first. So let's say four, four weeks from now, uh, or two weeks from now, we do the tumor removal of the memory tumors. Then uh, let the wound heal, and then four weeks from today, around four weeks, we will do the spaying, and that is the proposed uh, treatment for this case of forced pregnancy in a old female Shih Tzu, eight years old, taught by your pets.